gym. I just got done with running my warm up. This is just gonna be a workout video for me specifically. I just got, I'm six months postpartum, so this is just what I do, especially after having a baby. Through C-section, it can be a little hard and you're still recovering in this area. So this is probably gonna be the first part of a workout that I do. This is gonna be legs and abs. So yeah, for those of you who don't know, Nathan has an exercise science degree. So that has helped me out with my workouts a lot. So. Uh, what Allie kind of didn't explain is uh, she took about three, what, three, four months maybe off from working out after her C-section. And I would say we started off probably just running and doing light workouts here and there, mainly yoga, ab exercises, uh, isometric mainly movements where we're not trying to contract your abs too much because the incision on the inside of her body is still healing and probably will still be healing for up to a year, maybe even a year and a half or two years. It just really depends on how healthy she decides to be. And for anyone after a C-section or a pregnancy in general, it for full body recovery, I'd say it takes probably about a year to a year and a half to recover. So today I'm going to be putting Allie through, I wouldn't say an advanced workout, but since she's about two months into working out after our, our C-section. I'd say uh, this would be something that you can build into and build off of, but uh, the way I like to kind of structure her uh, workouts, I'd say I put her through about three to four supersets, as I like to call them, is uh, we set have two workouts set together. They don't necessarily work the same muscle group, but they she goes from one workout straight into the next, and then she get a little break period before she goes into the next set. And then we'll do that for three or four sets of supersets. Here's my little cheerleader who comes to the gym with us. She's so good, just chilling. For Allie's first superset, we paired split leg jump squats with goblet squats performed with a dumbbell. We did three sets. 20 reps on the split leg jump squats, so 10 each leg, and 12 reps on the goblet squats. Here you can see the split leg jump squats with the TRX bands, which are mainly there for stability, so Allie can really focus on form throughout the exercise. And here you can see Allie doing excellent form on her goblet squats. So this part of the workout, um, I guess I had a lot of energy to be able to start it out, but towards the end I was definitely getting tired, but I could feel that I was getting a good workout from it. And here we go. Rapido, rapido. <laughs> And for Allie's second superset, we paired front lunges, standing back up at the top, and with calf raises. Again, three sets on this, eight each with the lunges, and 20 total reps on the calf raises. I really wanted to focus on doing the lunges again because, yes, it is similar to split leg jump squats, but it is not an explosive exercise. And it's important to get the explosive work in at the beginning, so you're not doing bad form on an explosive, ex explosive exercise because you can hurt yourself. And you don't want that, especially when you're trying to get fit and look better. So I'm just doing the calf raises with my toes pointed in. And then back to lunges. Uh, this was a little bit easier, but like I feel like at any workout towards the end, you get tired, but I could definitely do a workout, especially with my toes pointed out. 
And for Allie's last set, I went ahead and ixnayed the importance of a superset because Allie's feeling a little tired and I didn't want to put her through too much stress and cause potential injury. So here we just kind of slowed it down with her deadlifts and really focused on form here and because she's new to deadlift and it's important to focus on form especially with beginners because the more you focus on form the less likely injury is to occur. And for this last set we did 12 reps I believe on the, on the deadlifts so three sets of 12. With a 30 or 35 pounds. Dumbbell. Yes. Um, this one was a little bit harder but I feel like I got a pretty good workout from it. And to finish off our workout we did a short two minute plank hold exercise. We did 30 seconds in the middle, 30 seconds on each side, and then finished with 30 seconds in the middle. And the, I think the last, we did just one more ab workout because I felt like I didn't do enough from that plank. Um, these are easier on me to do, especially with my uh, scar, my incision site. This is the end of this ab and leg workout. I will probably go home right now. Get yourself some smoothies. Yeah, and then there will probably be a part two to this video. So don't forget to throw down a like, and uh, if you think this could help you in the future, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Till next time, you guys. Bye. Peace. Bye. Shout out to our little cheerleader for being so good today. Let us do our workout. See you guys next week.